Hello friends, this is Raymond Mayfield. It's great to be with you today. It's good to be uh, able to talk to my friends everywhere. It's good to talk to everyone that listens to this program today. I thank you so much. You know, God loves us today so much. I want to talk to you about a scripture in Isaiah 43 and verse number 19. God's word says, Behold, I'm going to do a new thing. I'm going to bring forth water in the wilderness, vast lands that are deserts. I'm going to bring forth water. And of course, God kept his promise of that in the Old Testament when he led the children of Israel through many times uh, where he supplied their needs of water. But I believe this scripture is telling us that God is going to do a new thing because they were in the Babylonian captivity and that had been going on for several years and lasted for a long time to finally come into Roman rule. And uh, this 483 years of Babylonian captivity was a long time. There are seven more years to go. And that will happen in the great tribulation period that will last seven years at the end of this world and when Jesus comes. I, but so it, I believe that God is doing a new thing. And one of the things that he has already done is he sent Jesus into this world. Jesus came into this world uh, several years later from Isaiah, a thousand years plus, where it happened that Jesus was born. Many prophecies, uh, in fact, the Bible is one third of prophecy and prophecies about Jesus coming into this world. And what a wonderful thing that was when he came into this world and provided salvation and he went to the cross and he died for all of us so we might have life everlasting and that we might live in his presence forever and ever. And I thank God today because we have this wonderful plan of salvation that is going on for us today. But yet I want to go on to say that even though we had a great plan of salvation and all of us can be redeemed, claim your prize today and accept Jesus Christ if you want to have eternal life because there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. But I want to tell you in the future, mainly in the millennial reign of Christ is going to last a thousand years. It's going to happen after the tribulation period. Jesus is going to come into this world, I believe, and rapture us any time. The saints of God are going to be with him in the marriage supper of the Lamb. And after seven years, they're coming back to this world again. And he is going to set up his millennial kingdom up on this earth. And the, the thousand years reign of Jesus Christ, he's going to be the government. The government will be up on his shoulders. He will make all the decision. Isn't that going to be a, a wonderful time when it seems like uh, there's so much uh, misunderstanding and so much many things going on around the world of disconsent in our local governments and everything else. God help us all to realize the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is coming back to straighten out this world. And then the Christians are going to have a glorified body. They're going to live a thousand years. Uh, they'll never have to be facing death because they've already uh, went in a glorified body. They're going to enjoy that life everlasting and it's life everlasting for all of you that believe Jesus Christ. You can live with him forever. And this new thing he's doing lasts for a thousand years. You can read about it in Jeremiah. You can look about it in Isaiah. It talks in the Old Testament about this wonderful time of the millennial reign of Christ. One of my good friend, Gary Cook, Dr. Gary Cook, wrote a book on peace on earth. And friends, I want to tell you, there's going to be wonderful peace on the earth again. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Don't live, give up on God because God is doing a new thing. And folks, I want to tell you, he's coming back to this world again. He is going to do great miracles in your life. If you're having problems in your life today and you're having physical issues, uh, I want you to trust God with all of your heart. Put, put, your line on the, put your life on the line and say, God, forgive me of all of my sins and cleanse me up uh, and wash me in your precious blood. If there's anything in my life, I want to get rid of it so I'll never miss that wonderful time with the Lord. Yes, God is doing a new thing. Jesus is doing a new thing. Friends, I want to tell you, get a hold of that 
scripture in your life because a new thing is coming to pass. Uh, and we're going to see the wonderful rapture of the church. We're going to see uh, the restoration of the body of Christ is going to live for and ever. Evil is going to be eradicated off the face of this earth. Isn't that going to be a wonderful day when sin is going to be brought down to, brought down low and Jesus is going to be righteous and forever. I praise God for all of you that listen to this program today. May God bless you today and help you today. And thank you so much for listening to the program today.